recently I learned that Mr. Rajiv Malhotra has written a book on AI, the artificial intelligence, and that he has been a serious student of ancient Indian thought for a long, long time. So I felt there would be a connect between the ancient thought and AI, and hence I requested him to come as a guest speaker in my class. Uh, so the uh, floor is yours. Thank you, Satish, for uh, inviting me, and I always loved the opportunity to uh, in- address bright young students, take their questions. Has the time passed for Indians to do something about creating a new paradigm of say management? that uh, is india centric and that maybe the west could seek to emulate uh, from us you cannot export unless you consume it unless you practice it yourself first you have to indianize the indians before you can export it i'm talking about the real ideas and concepts of wealth creation management team building intergenerational how you pass it on how you think futuristic you know because We've had all that. We've had R&D in India. And uh, so this all got dismantled. It's not just British colonial colonialism started thousands years ago in India. Uh, and so how to bring all that back together should be a major enterprise. But for, I will tell you for 30 years I've tried. Uh, people do lip service. They just get enough one-liners uh, here and there from a talk I've given that they'll go and give their own talk and start a YouTube or, uh, you know, everybody's into quick fame, uh, short uh, short attention span, quick results. But what you are talking about is a deep project. It is a project that is multi-year, requires a lot of people, lot, some resources. I don't know of a single think tank working on it. That's the problem. After having talked about it for so many years, I have not been able to get a single think tank to really take it up as a multi-year project. They will take it up as a conference, as a seminar, and then move on to the next topic. But this requires more serious effort.